from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering VMworld 2018. Brought to you by VMware and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE, I'm Lisa Martin. This is our second day of covering VMworld 2018, a huge event, lots of buzz. Very excited to be joined by my co-host, John Troyer, the one and only. And John and I are pleased to welcome to theCUBE for the first time, Devin Reed, product management at Dell EMC. Devin, it's great to have you join Thank us. Thank you, it's a pleasure being here. So, lots of news in the last couple of days, never a dull moment, right? I mean, Dell Technologies World was just four months ago and it seems like yep. it was yesterday. So let's talk about one of the announcements that came out today that Dell EMC just uh, announced that's going to enable customers to successfully, not embrace multi-cloud, but deliver it and extract values from it. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, ever since the beginning of, of Unity, we had a virtual storage appliance. It's essentially a software-defined uh, version of Unity. And just recently, we just announced today that we extended that functionality. We, we um, qualified it on vSAN, and it now runs on VMware Cloud. It's called the Unity VSA Cloud Edition. So customers can get the same look and feel as their Unity that they have today and they can provide file services within the VMware cloud, as well as um, disaster recovery and, ca and backup capabilities for their Unity environment with all the same look and feel. They can also combine that technology with what we call our cloud tiering appliance, so they can archive files off from either on-prem or from their VMware cloud environments to another S3 enabled cloud. Uh, device, so we're very excited about this announcement, especially at VM, VMworld here today. That's super nice, right? Yes. A lot of momentum for VMware Cloud, uh, some inter really interesting announcements this, this week, uh, and I think it's really interesting, maybe let's pull back a second and talk about Unity systems in general. Um, Mid-range storage, right, mid-range is still pretty capable mid-range these yes, days, you can do absolutely. a lot of stuff on. And so the whole idea is I might have some mid-range storage either in-house or at a colo or at, a, at, a, at another partner site and then now I'm adding VMware Cloud to that. Can you talk a little, maybe a little bit about you know, how, what, what some of the verticals are or what some of the use cases are for Unity and, and then maybe some of the other offerings in the EMC yeah, portfolio? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. I get this question a lot and it's, it's really difficult to answer because in the mid-range space it's so diverse. The price points vary from, say, $10,000 up to multi-million dollar deals. Very, very different verticals that we, we sell into, very different use cases. So the systems have to be very, very flexible. Um, so uh, it's very difficult to pin down exactly what a mid-range storage um, device really satisfies in the market. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we sell into the majority of VMware environments. So 80% uh, of our hosts are actually VMware-based hosts. Um, for transactional environments. Well, that's nice. And then, of course, you, 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 you we're still at a point where lots of people are choosing all flash, or you might have uh, you might have needs that, that require yeah. all flash. And, but then also, there's still hybrid arrays that, that are still have more capacity, super valuable. Anything in there about what what Unity is bringing to the table, or, or and about a you know hybrid versus all flash and kind of that capability? Yeah. So when we introduced Unity, the we introduced a, a hybrid line as well as an all flash line and there's four, four versions of each. And the adoption of Flash was um, more rapid than we ever expected. So um, the all Flash momentum took off extremely fast and it's on the order, it's a little over 50% of our system sales today in all Flash. And when we talk to customers, customers want to go to all Flash. They, they absolutely want to go all Flash all the time. It, only in the cases where they can't afford to go to all Flash is where they back off to any hybrid hybrid use cases. So we, your product management, Yes. a big part of your job is talking with customers. Yep. Customers want choice. We've had this morning during the Sanjay's general session, I think there were five customers on stage with it, which I always really gravitate towards because that's the validation, right? right? That your, the vendors you know, always buy us. Talk to us about the, the opportunity for choice that you're giving customers who probably need guidance. Or we've got, we've got you know, what an average of eight clouds. We have data of varying degrees, applications of varying criticality. What is that conversation or those conversations that you have as in product management with customers to get their feedback and help, you know, for example, um, not just advise them on you know, all flash versus hybrid, but in terms of their actual you know, money-making strategy. Talk to us about some of those conversations and how customers help influence 
what Dell EMC is doing. Yeah, absolutely. So when we're having those conversations, clearly with a, a diverse portfolio that we have in the mid-range, we have the Unity product, both all flash as well as the hybrid, as well as SC, and we have SC um, versions of flash as well, and then an entry line with the Power Vault. We, we clearly have uh, a magnitude of different use cases that we can, we can really serve for the customers. And you know, those conversations are, are extremely important to us to get the feedback and, and really drive not only what our customers get, but our product development as well. Hmm. Definitely. Well, and so um, in terms of uh, the data services that, that that you guys offer in the mid-range, now that you're obviously be able to offer them up in the VMware Cloud, I mean, what what are people, what are your customers looking for in terms of data storages, right? I mean, we can we put the bits down, right? That's good. But what uh, what are else do customers need now here in this in this uh, wide range of, of use cases in terms of uh, pr you know protection and and uh, compression and dedupe and things like that? What what should people expect to be to be looking for? Yeah, so it, it runs the gamut. So if you basically start at the underlying infrastructure with Flash, and then all of the data services with compression and deduplication, those are becoming standard. And then all of the data protection scheme, uh, local snapshots, um, disaster recovery, both synchronous and, and asynchronous capabilities, backup, not only backup, um, locally, but now to the cloud. So a lot of customers are coming to us and telling us that, that they want a cloud, a multi-cloud strategy, as you were saying. Um, so that those are becoming very important data services for our customers. Where are customers in terms of embracing the superpowers, machine learning, AI, as an integral component of their business strategies? Yeah, I think it's becoming such, and you know, we have a, a bunch of things in R&D right now where we're exploring different technologies with AI and machine learning to really um, you know, place the customer's data at the right place at the right time to meet their performance goals, their targets, their SLAs, their business objectives. Nice. So Devin, uh, we were talking before we turned the camera on, and I know you're kind of new in the, in the product management role here now, in the, in, in, but Unity has a huge footprint, right? And, and all the mid-range systems, right? Mass market, huge footprint. You have the power now to impact a lot of IT, right? In, in, as you and your engineering team. I'm, and I didn't, I didn't ask this ahead of time, so, uh, I, but I'm kind of curious, you personally in this role, kind of what are your, how, what do you, would you like to see happen now in the mid-range and, and with your product line, uh, you know, and out in, the, out in the world in the next couple years? Yeah, so what I'd like to say first is, um, from a footprint perspective, um, when we launched Unity in uh, May of 2016, We've, we've reached over two billion dollars um, within that, that first two years. We have over 30,000 active customers there, so a, a huge footprint, and then if you add that with the SC, we have a, a huge footprint. And one of our goals has really been to drive more and more commonality between the platforms. Um, there are unique use cases between SC and Unity, but there is a lot of um, similarities in the, in the use cases. So we're trying to drive a little bit more commonality, a lot more family, and that's some of the enhancements we made to SC over the past year. So in the SC Storage Center, um, formerly Compellent product line, we, we did an all new HTML5 GUI, um, we rebranded it to Unisphere, same look and feel as the Unisphere from Unity, so we're trying to bring those products together. And that really, also, that really helps with training and competencies, right? That so your staff can have the same, some of the same UIs, right? It, it, no matter what the systems you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And um, we recently have support for SC on Cloud IQ. Cloud IQ, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it's our SaaS, uh, SaaS-based analytics and monitoring platform. So not only is it supported on Unity, but it's supported on SC. Now where we're trying to take the product long term is definitely more uh, solutions based, more um, you know, business oriented. Where are we trying to, what are we trying to do for our customers? Um, Multi-cloud strategy, trying to um, you know, be able to not only place the data at the right place at the right time within the storage systems, but within the data center and across the hybrid clouds. So making that seamless as possible uh, for our customers. So last question, Devin, as we yeah. wrap up here. You mentioned uh, a big percentage of your customers are VMware installed based. Did you say about 60%? Uh, about 80 to 85% of our hosts are VMware attached 80 hosts. to 85. Yeah. So in terms of some of the announcements that have come out yesterday, today, what excites you, at digging your feet deeper into this product management role with Dell EMC, what excites you about some of the things that you've heard from your partner VMware? 
Yeah, the things that, that really get me excited are, are the things that are, are close to the uh, close to the storage system. So it's the, the things like with the VMware Cloud on AWS, the investments that VMware's making along those lines, the investments they're making in virtual volumes and being able to manage VM level uh, capabilities on the storage system. So, and all of the ecosystem that's, that's close to the array is, is what gets me excited. And I have a lot of conversations this week with VMware product managers to really understand where should we be taking our product line in conjunction with VMware, because when you, when you look at 80, 85% of our hosts attached, VMware is an extremely important partner for us and um, hope, to, hope to continue to build on that relationship and that, um, um, that development. Well, Devin, thanks so much for stopping by yeah, theCUBE and sharing I, I your insights. Yeah, thank it's you great so to much. Talk to you. It was a pleasure, thank you. For Lisa Martin. For, that's me, for John <laughs> Troyer, I'm Lisa Martin, <laughs> you're watching theCUBE from VMworld in Las Vegas, day two, stick around, John and I will be right back with our next guest.